R.A. Salvatore has a brand new Dritz novel out today called Timeless. I got a chance to speak to him about the character and why this character has meant so much to so many people. Because I think everybody feels like an outcast in high school. And, um, and I think, especially at that age, junior high, high school, college, when, you're, when the world hasn't beaten you down yet and you're an idealist, you can see so many things either in your, in your school, your church, your, your city government, your local, you know, state government, and the federal government, and the world. You see so many things that look like they have a simple answer to do things better. So that idealism kind of pushes back against all the injustice, you see. And I think that's universal. I think even the captain of the football team can be a lonely person in high school. Um, and for me, I was the smallest kid in my ninth grade class. And for like the last one to go through puberty. And for a boy, that's like really difficult sentence to live through. And uh, so I was bullied and um, then I got bigger and I became a bouncer, <laughs> mostly the beat up bullies. And um, Dritz is kind of like that. He sees the world around him and thinks there's got to be something better. And he was sort of an unintentional character initially, right? Well, initially the book was, I thought they wanted a sequel to Doug Niles' Dark Walker on Moonshay. And so I used one of Doug's characters to introduce Wolfgar, who I thought was going to be my character. And then when I found out, no, they didn't want a sequel, not using Doug's characters, which made me very happy because I didn't want to use them. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be more like Dragonlance, where you had the main characters and then spinning off to the sides. But no, the realms was much bigger, obviously. Um, that's when I came up with Dritz off the top of my head, um, under pressure because my editor had to get to a marketing meeting and needed a sidekick for Wolfgar, and I just shouted out a drow elf. You know, a dark elf, and she said, a drow, and I'm like, yeah. And then, then I started thinking, oh, a drow ranger, yeah, that'll work. And so I thought, that, so I thought it was going to be about Wolfgar. But then I started writing the book after I got the contract, and, and Dritz is running across the tundra, and he gets jumped by the yetis. And I knew right then, I knew, wait a minute, this is going to be about him. And maybe it's because I sense that he's obviously the outcast. He's obviously the romantic, misunderstood hero, you know. But he took over. He just took over. I, I grew up in a town that looks very much like the town of the Sopranos. And I'm an Italian kid. And when I had to come up with a society that people from the outside would look at and think was very evil. But if, you can't just be an evil society because there'd only be one person left alive. So I, I actually read The Godfather again and, and used that as kind of a wide model for, men, for the Dark Elf City of Menzo Baranzan. I can tell you that for many years, and a lot of readers have agreed with me, I, I've said I really wanted to write a book about Zach Nefane and Jarl Axel, but before Dritz was born. How did they get to know each other? What was Menzo Baranzan like? And, and so I thought what I would do with the new Dritz book is, there are a lot of people who either aren't caught up, because it's been going on for 30 years and 33 books, for crying out loud, so there are a lot of people who's dropped off at different points. Other people come in at different points. I wanted to write a Dritz book that anyone could read. So you don't have to read any of the other Dritz books to jump in with Timeless. It's a jumping on point, if you will. Or for people who aren't caught up, jump in. And so half the book takes place back before Dritz was born. So I can reintroduce people to the Dark Elf City through different eyes slightly different perspective on the Dark Elf City. And then the other half of the book picks up the story after Hero, the last book in the Legend of Dritz that Watsi published, and just goes a little bit forward with that. But again, you can jump right in. And that was my plan. Timeless is out today in bookstores everywhere. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you for watching.